I want to say what's up, Agura Hill. Welcome to my podcast, Coffee and Kareem. And um, it's finally good to have you here. Uh, it's um, It's been a while. A lot of people have been wanting me to get you on. We finally got you on. And um, we really want to hear everything that you have to say with this, what's going on. But first, before that, tell everyone who you are, a little bit about yourself. Hi. Thanks for having me on here. Um, I do YouTube. Well, like I did YouTube, kind of taking a break from it because um, I've been getting like a lot of surgery done and stuff like that uh just so recovering but i'm i do only fans and i'm just like i don't know like the word for it yeah i'm like a model for only fans that i i do social media but being brave enough to have yourself on uh on social media uh because you know it, it is it is really hard with a lot of people out there and how um aggressive they can be towards people so that never deterred you from wanting to get online and make a social media account no actually that makes me want to do it even more um but i like i don't care to an extent what people have to say when it when it gets to be like when people start like when people are ignorant and like and say things like out of like like in that type of style then it bothers me but like people talk about me all day like i don't care but it's just like the ignorance and the like audacity of like, like the way someone can say something about me not being able to do something because of who I am. That's something that would bother me versus, oh, just I'm just a, a tranny or whatever, you know? Yeah, yeah, um, I feel you. Yeah. That uh, makes me want to do it more. Well, that's good. I mean, that's it's it's something that makes that gives you the motivation to continue being yourself and and you know, putting yourself out there. And I think it, that's really important. I, I know it must be tough for you, but again, thank you so much for being here. Uh, we're going to talk about everything and whatever you want to talk about. You could just shut me up and be like, look, I want to talk. Go ahead. Whatever it is you want to say, because as we all know, there's a lot going on. A lot has been said. A lot has been seen. And many people don't have the picture and they don't have the viewpoint from you. And I feel like it's important that you take this platform and just speak your voice and let everyone know what's going on. There has been some situations that happened with uh, two guys. I w is it okay if I could say their names? Okay. Are you comfortable with that? Sure. All right. Yeah, okay. yeah, so the two the two guys are Adam Saleh and Slim al -Behar, And uh, they've been caught up with uh, some huge controversy, uh, especially when it comes to you. I want you to explain it first, and then I'm going to ask the questions after. So you could just kind of like lay out the facts and what happened from the beginning to the very end. Yeah, um, notice how you said I'm one of the recent, like one of the scandals. They're they're caught up in a lot of things, so that can just go to show that I'm not crazy, and that it's like you know, it's it's them, it's you know, them as people, as influencers, it's literally it's not just someone making something up. So. That goes to show right yeah. there that, mm -hmm. you know, um, they're not good people. But um, basically, so I literally, if I'm keep, keeping it 100% honest, I was on TikTok one day and one of their old pranks showed up on my For You page. Um, and it was them like fake kissing on the couch for Sophia. I don't know if you're aware of that video. Yeah, yeah, a lot of fans have been sending it to me. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, like that, like kissing prank video. I had like I had seen that, and I have been following um, Adam for the longest, so I didn't really like know like who Sophia was at first or anything like that, honestly. Um, so I had sent that video to Slim, and um, I'm like, "Where's part two? Or, or can I get an OnlyFans link? Like, I jokingly said something to Slim on his Facebook. Um, and I didn't, like, go through his Facebook or anything. He just had a picture of him up on his um, profile picture. It was just him. Like, I, it wasn't anything. Like, I was, oh, okay, well, this girl is with him. So I'm going to go and ruin. Like, that's what, that wasn't, like, the whole thing. It was literally just me being, like, silly and, like, freaky, I guess. And flirtatious, I guess. Um, yeah. So... Basically, I had sent him, like, that video I saw, and I'm like, where's part two, basically? Like, what's up, basically? And he was, like, he was, like, joking with me. I mean, he was playing, like, he was playing along. Like, um, he, 
told me that Adam, he's like my boy, wanted. Did you see this? I'm pretty sure you saw the screenshot. Yeah, um, yeah, and we're gonna ask you to send everything to us so we could just kind of like post it up to as you're talking because you do have receipts and, or should I say receipts? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was like, "Excuse me, sir, where's the rest of this?" That's what I said to the video, and he's like, "LOL," on my OnlyFans page. And I'm like, if only y'all you know, knew how many people would buy it. And then he had, there's a vi- there's a message that he said, but he unsent it and he deleted it. So mm-hmm. he basically go, goes on to just asking where I'm from and telling him that Adam wants my OnlyFans and their weekend is coming up in Miami and like that Adam was going to reach out to me. So it went on from there and me and Adam started texting back and forth for a couple of days. Uh, it was it was surreal because I was a fan of Adam for a long time. Mm-hmm. So when you guys were talking, um, uh, how did how did the conversations go? Very interested in me sexually. Like it was kind of just it. That's what it was about. He was telling me that he was gonna be in Miami for his birthday, and that it was cool that it was my birthday too, and that he was like looking at my Instagram, and he was like really into me, and I had told him I was trans. Of course, because I don't, you know, I even though it's like in my videos and on my OnlyFans content, all that, like I'm very public about it. Like, you know, I don't, you never know. So That's true. I was upfront about that and he didn't, he didn't mind. They didn't mind. So we just, it, we just kept talking and we planned the trip together. Mm-hmm. Um, and he just like booked me right away. And it was kind of just like a last minute, one, two, three type thing. Um, and I was there before I knew it, um, hugging him in the lobby of my hotel room. Wow. So with that, after that, so finally you guys got together. Um, we're going to kind of like mix in uh, this recent podcast that Slim has made where he said that you were a random and someone that just just popped in. Someone else brought you in because he was hanging out with 15 or more people, but from what you posted there's only you guys you three we haven't seen anybody else in any of the things that you were posting so what what do you say about that um definitely not a random if I, slim is the last person to be able to say that because me and him talked initially um even before adam so slim knows who i am very well and i really wish i could be on a podcast with him and be able to argue my point and just embarrass him respectfully because he deserves it but from that podcast he seemed to be very uh very offensive too uh calling you a it a he she and um a a, 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 what was it um a gay Gay criminal. criminal yeah yeah and that's why why is why is he so malice towards that when um you know like because in a way he's attacking all the trans community that way. If 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 you're ang- like let's say he's angry at one person, you know, and that be per- that person would be you. Why would he say all those derogatory terms which attacks the whole community? Yeah, he simply doesn't care, you know. He's a boxer. He's not his fans aren't uh, if we're being being real here, they're not like it's not like his fans are geared towards the LGBT or won't affect his income or publicity or anything in any way. So, Mm -hmm. I mean, he could pretty much say what he wants. He's Muslim too. And as a Muslim influencer, it's okay to be against that publicly. So that's just the truth of that. Yeah, that's sad. Um, That's sad. But yeah, but we're going to get deeper into this because I I feel like honestly that, I mean, I'm I'm a Muslim myself and there's Muslims out there like me who believe in the freedom and you know and the happiness of people you know it's like you can't control everyone everyone wants to do what they want to do as long as they're not hurting anyone and you know you have guys like him who uh really really kind of screw things up for a lot of people like us who are trying to like kind of open up you know you know the the acceptance of when it comes to religion i know it can be really tough and that's why i really don't like to get into it because it's just really confusing but I mean, people like him make it just kind of reaffirm that fact that it's okay to be so hateful, which is not true. And I think that's something that shouldn't be happening. And that's why the way they were speaking, it seems like you're never going to speak out. You're quiet. You're afraid, you know, but you're not. And you're here today to talk about everything with all the details. 
No, yeah. If I was afraid, I wouldn't have came out with my YouTube videos and they, you know, like the part one, not only a part one, two, three, like just, you know, I'm not definitely not afraid. That's not even my, in my personality. I mean, the Gemini, I'm crazy. So <laughs> I, um, yeah, definitely just, I, I strive to have people know like about me and the truth. So like if, in, obviously in this situation it was like very um important for people to know what happened um especially after the way they treated me this wasn't for no reason so a lot of people don't know that I had um got into it with them really bad um right before the end of my trip so first off uh we're gonna talk about um your posts on the stories like what was going on where were you guys going um you know those details so let's start from the first story that you posted where um slim was clear clearly seen with you what was going on where were you guys going and what was you know what led to that point and what happened after and all that um so that night that night was my birthday um dinner that's when i had went we had they had took me out to like a steakhouse, we were we went to dinner that night. We went to like a club, a hookah bar, and then we went to, I think we went like three places total. Um, after we ate, and then that was like our night. And then we had went back to the Airbnb. Um, so that was the night of like us going out. Okay, so was that before or after the? the intimate moments you guys had together um well we were already a little intimate like we, there wasn't like it wasn't full-on sex yet but mm -hmm. we were we were pretty intimate like as soon as you know i saw him in the hotel lobby and then going upstairs to my room and then uh but for like the main thing like the what you're talking about that yeah that happened after that night yeah okay well mm -hmm. at least they um they got you some dinner and treated you out first before that right. so um can you confirm how many people were there because going back to slim's podcast he said that he travels with 15 or more people so i wanted to confirm with you if that is a lie like how many people w were with you guys when you were um hanging out together um it was like a house full of boys it was like four or five of them honestly it wasn't that many um as up to 15 maybe later after i left in the villa or later on in their trip it got grew bigger but i know it was just like five of them so when you reached out to them who was the one that thought like hey let's invite agura hill who initiated that well you could say slim because i hit him up and then he told adam about me or adam seen me whatever happened in that moment and then so he got technically slim but then adam flew me out so yeah so basically you had that whole situation we're, we're missing a, a very big detail and that's the only fans content so there's a lot of claims online that pe they did not consent to that but you've showed proof that they did and some one of them i think actually was joking around about it so what can you say about that the details okay so as far as only fans content um that started out as like a little joke he cracked but i had exclaimed adam when i say he um i explained to them that i you know made content and stuff like that and they were okay with that obviously um so it, but everything turned when the um when the sex was over you know once you come you come to your senses i don't know if you heard that before. oh yeah yeah so mm -hmm. right so it was like one of those things like Basically, they had consented um, 100%. And then that's actually like where the last fight had um, to the point. That's what had made it get to the point to us getting into it really bad before the trip ended mm -hmm. um, was because of that. They definitely consented to only get, to getting recorded. Um, once the sex was over, the whole um agreeance to that was totally different they were begging me like i'm telling you begging me to delete anything mm. that i had of them um adam had left and it was just me and slim in the room slim was getting really aggressive and 
like really it was really scary um because he's way taller than me um and the boxer so i was intimidated Mm -hmm. you know the grown-ass man like i like okay yes i'm trans but no still like he Mm -hmm. was great like no yeah like i was did he he get physical like what, what was he doing yes he he had like tried to get my phone from me multiple times he was screaming at me he was telling me this i would ruin his life he was like getting like psychotic like i felt like i was gonna be in like the first 48 or some shit like i was gonna be yeah like i thought i was gonna be in a crime scene like he got really really like upset because obviously he had once after he come like you know he's thinking about all these realities hitting him with Mm -hmm. these videos um, obviously, because he's married, which I didn't know up until I looked at his profile um, during the trip, during the end, towards the end of the trip. So he had tried to get my phone from me, he was screaming. He had gotten top of me at one point. Um, oh, wow. I, had, I have multiple phones. I don't just have one phone. Um, so I had to basically like just guard the phone with my life because I was not letting them get my content like or go through my phone or anything like that like Mm -hmm. that was just not happening so he finally like stormed out the room and um i had like i started crying because i was like scared and it was just a really messed up night and that was like the night before that because this was we we had sex multiple times during the trip so oh really yeah 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 for sure this was before my trip in the morning so I was like, wow, like, this is how we're really going to end the trip. Like, Adam didn't speak to me for, like, a good couple hours the next day and text me all night. I don't know what happened with that. I don't know if he was, if he knew if Slim told him something or whatever. After Slim had left, the other YouTubers, it was only four, like, four of them, five of them on the trip. Yeah. The one, the other, only other one that does YouTube, he was like with us the whole trip he, we went to he went to dinner with us and everything he had ended up um oh ahmed and mama g oh okay so that channel after i had gotten into it really bad with Slim, um he had hit me up and he was like close to my hotel and he was like begging to fuck and stuff like that and he, he was like say, wanting to make only fans content too but i was just like okay here goes another era with a youtube channel wanting to fuck and record it for only fans only to then delete it like you know like mm. just saying anything to have sex so i don't think they're um, arab though I what th- are they i think they're from pakistan if i'm not mistaken okay, well, same <laughs> same thing no like, <laughs> um middle eastern whatever okay no but no okay i know there's a difference but i just whatever but this guy is being horny and then wanting to delete it after that's that was my point Mm -hmm. so what'd you say when he was messaging you he was begging i wish my instagram stays disabled i wish i could read the exact messages but he was just like come on like i'm close by like i'm sorry you and slim slim told me what happened i'm sorry like i want to come eat some strat like he was like just really like and in miami it was so hot like my wig was already sliding off. Like, I was just like, hell no. Like, I went to sleep. <laughs> like, I didn't end up meeting up with him. He didn't end up coming mm-hmm. to my hotel room. But that's what happened with him. His ex-wife ever contact you? Or and did you ever try reaching out to her? Did try reaching out to her. I had sent videos of me and Slim together to her, to her email, to her Instagram. But, like, right away, I was blocked. So it was definitely them. Like, I don't think she ever got to see anything that I sent her mm-hmm. because right away, like, I'm telling you, like, two minutes after I sent the DM, I was blocked. Like, I don't think that was her that blocked me. Cause why would she do that if it's clearly slim in the video? Like, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I definitely tried to reach out. Um, didn't get a response. Was blocked. Think it, I thought, I think it was them, though. I think it was slim on her account. Um, and then. From there, yeah, I never really spoke to her. No, I never spoke to her at all. Do you think the reason for the breakup between him uh, and his wife, do you think it was because of the relationships that you guys had? Definitely, definitely. I think that was the 
like icing on the cake you probably Uh you know but yeah i for sure think that that whole thing was because she had there things had happened while all that was going on with like her twitter and her social media activity like that that, they're definitely that definitely am a big reason and um, now i'm happy for that because of the way slim is like can't just be honest and can't just Mm -hmm. come forward like good now now you're you lost your wife now now look at you like i don't care now i'm now i'm happy for that so so he was lying during that podcast, that most recent podcast then, because he gave a reason as to why they broke up. They said he said they were broken up. They were broken up a while ago. Is that true? Kareem, no, mm-hmm. that he was lying out of straight out of his teeth in that interview. He looked nervous. You can tell like the little trolls in, his, in the comment section, like supporting him and stuff like that, like must be children because or like just. Oh, no, teeth. that I, I actually have proof and I've uh, recorded some of the comments on that video. Most of them are fake comments, and I really? have proof of that. Yep. If you notice, you could take a look. I don't know if they're still there. They're probably gonna change it after the, after they hear this. But there's something fishy going on with the comments, and uh, my boy told me about it, and we managed to capture most of it before they delete it. There are multiple comments that say the same exact thing with different pictures of like models or whatever. Wow. So we're gonna we're gonna take a look at that in our video too. I'm gonna bring that up. Yeah, so definitely, like, that video is full of shit. It pisses me off. It's just lie after lie. So the videos that got leaked, there's still, like, there's a lot of them. But obviously, for the ones that have been leaked, um, can you confirm who were in those videos? Yeah, so in the videos that were leaked were definitely Slim and Adam. I, the ones that were on my OnlyFans, the ones that were leaked, like, to the public, like, on Twitter and stuff, that was that was Slim. Mm-hmm. In the video of me giving head, that was slim um, mm-hmm. in one of the videos. I wasn't able to, like, I I recorded. Right after that, by the way, sorry to cut you off. Right after that video surfaced, the one that you just uh, mentioned, that's when his wife blocked him. It was right around that time, right? Be a lot of but people. She knows. Making, yeah. So, yeah, I was seeing some people say that if she blocked him, she knows. And that was kind of like a confirmation. All right. So continue. I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah, because she probably knows, you know, how his body looks, obviously. So, you know, I couldn't hold on to every single thing. Mm -hmm. I had to, like, show that I was deleting some of the things. I don't know. I feel like a cheap whore, honestly. (laughs) Now that this is all done and over with. (laughs) Well, I mean, at the end of the day, you both were consenting. That's something that's very important that people need to know. Uh, No one was, like, forced like, I don't care. No, like, no, I don't give a fuck. Like, everything was paid for. Like, it was my 21st birthday. Like, I had fun. Mm-hmm. Like, who the fuck gets to say they went with their... Like, I've been watching it for a long time. I don't care. Like, I had fun. Like, he was my little celebrity crush, YouTube crush. So, like, yeah, mm-hmm. I don't regret it. And I'm that bitch for doing what I did. But it's just, like, now looking back at it and, like, how they're treating me now and talking about me, it's so straining to my mental health because yeah. even though I'm struggling... It's just very inconsiderate and um, just inconvenient. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I feel you. I mean, like, when you when you met, how were they in person and after? Like, what surprised you about them? Well, I mean, they looked really good, obviously. I mean, you know, like, I have a thing for the Eastern men. So that there wasn't any problems there. You know, they looked good, obviously. But mm-hmm. um, it was just, like, initial lust like they it, we were just like everyone like it was just like very much um let's get the fuck upstairs and yeah the attra- like, yeah the attraction was strong the attraction was strong um between all three of us you all three at the same time or was there someone that you had like intercourse more with um on a one-to-one basis um well i i would say i probably had more intercourse with adam because i fucked him Mm -hmm. but and slim like yeah i would say adam more but Mm -hmm. i mean there was it was a little more but yeah it was definitely all three of us like when you made the video revealing all this information did you know how crazy the situation was going to be and along with the backlash no i'm not going to sit here and say that i like no i definitely knew that this would um you know turn into major headlines but i just 
you know, I was ready for, I was ready for all that. I wanted, I was upset. I was hurt. Adam and Slim have a lot of videos with girls that they don't care about, um, you know, all over the internet. And when it came to me, see, what had happened was FouseyTube was watching my social media like crazy. Like he would always be like the third person to like look at my stuff. Oh, wow. So like I was on that trip and I found that really interesting. And when Adam knew that I had like recorded a video with him, not even being sexual, just like when I was like looking cute and he was next to me, he had like a heart attack and it really bothered me because it was like, he's like, my fans are crazy. Like no one can know we're together type shit. Like, so that really fucked with me. And that happened towards the end of the trip. It was just a, a pile of things. And then the, how he was acting about the content that was filmed, but like, yeah, just the fact that he has videos all over the internet with random girls and like, that's like quote unquote, okay. But because I'm trans, like I had to be deleted out of my phone. Couldn't take another picture around him. Like, go well, fuck yourself. Like hmm. you're a normal person. Obviously you like me just as much as you like them. If not more, cause I fucked you. Oh, I hate him so much, but yeah. Yeah. Well, I found that really shitty. I'm sure. And I'm, I'm sorry. I had to go through that. After everything was said and done, uh, once the video was released and basically everyone, the world, uh, knew the information about what was going on, you know, after the intercourse and the one night stand, intimate relationships you guys had, what happened after? Because I remember you were talking about like how you were getting uh, death threats from uh, various people. You were getting uh, legal letters sent to you. Yeah, initially I was um, threatened by Adam um, asking me to delete any content of us together um, or anything that I had posted of him and Slim or else legal actions would be pursued. Obviously, I didn't delete anything because what happened was true and I had proof to back that up. So I didn't, I wasn't able to get sued. Yeah. Like, and then for the people who stay wondering why I covered their photo in my video, it's just for legal purposes because I didn't want to deal with having putting people's faces out there even though you guys can put two and two together and use common sense and know it's them like that's why i did that but anyways you know edward sent me a letter um and then i i soon realized from his ex who edward was and from his fans and my dms were just going crazy telling me to not worry and that he's just basically like a prop so you're saying that he also sent a legal letter to his ex well his ex knew about oh. Edward, so I don't know, maybe. Oh, but wow. that's interesting. And by ex, you, I think uh, talking about Egyptian Ting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she she also made a a lot of uh, videos, um, you know, revealing the truth about this guy. In the legal letters, there was something actually that was done that was illegal. That is, they were dead naming you, basically using your former name. Well, they used both. They said Anthony and they said Agora. So, um. I don't know, I guess. Yeah, but I'm yeah. used to it. I didn't really... They said both the names. Yeah. Well, that's that's illegal because your legal name now is, you know, a girl. And the lawyer should know better. That's why you shouldn't take it seriously. Uh, that, was, that was such bullshit. <laughs> you know, obviously, there was nothing to be said from these guys. They haven't spoken such a long time about the situation, but they recently did. And people were wondering why they were staying quiet about it. We can make all the assumptions we can, but we're not going to know the truth. But they did recently, Slim, release a podcast. And in this podcast, he spoke of the situation and basically kind of debunking the whole thing. But I wanted you, you know, to have this chance, as he will be listening to this, for you to kind of give a message out to him based on what you heard from that podcast. And what will your message to him be? Well, my message to him would definitely be fuck you. I mean, I can't get any more real than that. Like, I, he he knows deep down inside, he'll always know what really happened and that he did what he did with me and he probably regrets it now, but it already happened. And I, um, you know, everything happens for a reason. In my opinion, he didn't um, deserve Sophia. Mm -hmm. And, you know, maybe this was what had to happen. It just sucks when you portray to be someone you're not. People can say that I'm trans and that I'm trying to be someone I'm not. But when you're Muslim and you 
have all these, you know, rules and like just different things you have to be go by and then you go against it. I don't know. I'm I'm going on a tangent, but I just I'm really I'm sick of the transphobia. I really am. Like I harassed him till this day. Um I he changed his number, but I still DM him because I just you know, like I it, it really pissed me off and the things he says about me. Um I was gonna say another thing. Um Oh yeah, about like the whole it, if why the, why will why they wouldn't speak up. It's it's clear as day because yeah, I mean he even admitted it in the podcast. If I don't know if you paid attention, he was saying how like people were asking about the situation and he couldn't believe people were thinking it was true or it was like getting as controversial as like it came to be. So like basically that the answer to that he didn't you know just they didn't speak about it so it wouldn't get bigger or it wouldn't be brought to light and. It kept getting bigger, it kept getting spread around, and before they knew it, everyone was asking them, even in their inner circle. So now, what, four or five, six months later, now they're finally addressing it, quote unquote, debunking it. Um, which is just like, if I was there, like, there's just so many small, stupid ass things that he's lying about, like, off the bat. Like, at least if you're gonna lie, oh my God, like, like lie in like a, a a smart way. Like, what are you lying about? How many people were there for? Like, now you look really stupid. Like, now I want to smack the shit out of you just for lying about how many people were there. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, you know, like mm-hmm. it's just things, things like that. People need to realize is not true. Yeah. Gotcha. So there was a lot of also other uh, occurrences that came up uh, saying that his family members kind of disowned him. This is uh, Adam was speaking about uh, that his family kind of like disowned him when this information came out and something with his brother. I don't know the pure details about that and I don't know the the truth about that. But I mean, from watching the videos and seeing the videos right after that, you can see that he doesn't film with his family anymore like he used to. Right after that situation that came up with you, he just kind of like they separated. They kind of don't make content with him anymore. I mean, there's a lot of things pointing to this being true. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Uh, another thing also is you had a lot of support from the group at MuslimGirl.com, and they made a whole article about how um, Adam's rape allegations were kind of like just hidden and you know swept under the rug. But when it came to the transgender allegations, he was getting attacked and canceled and it was just a huge big deal but the rape thing nobody really cared about what do you think about that yeah that's actually crazy breaks my heart for the girls who were the girl or girls who were put in that situation by adam that's messed up if you don't consent to something you don't want it to happen like it's fucked up but there's even more things out there like you know there's younger girls he was texting that mm-hmm. were like children or below 18 like there's a lot of stuff out there that he is involved in and that there's proof of so it's just like that just goes to show you know what people care about they they rather talk about me than talk about or they rather cancel me they rather cancel him for me than cancel him for doing things that are actually like wrong and illegal you can have your opinions about me as a person all day all night but rape and underage um sexual intercourse is just wrong so yeah people are stupid and it's not it's not never gonna change i mean i don't mean to say like the muslim community but yeah i just i don't want you to think that the whole muslim community are like these guys so if there's there if there's anything that we can do to get you to not like because we don't want anybody around the you know to see that these guys are an example of what you know muslims are it's sad that they have this following that just blindly follows them but it all muslims are not like that these guys are just i don't know what happened to them when i knew them they were completely different people i was seeing a little bit of a weird side kind of growing and that's why i kind of separated with them because i would always get you know into it with them because things were getting really bad when we were together um you know adam would always tell me like kareem if I ever, like, if I ever, like, take alcohol, stop me. Um, and I looked at him, I was, like, weirded out. I was, like, you sure? Because I, I don't really care. I have friends who drink and stuff like that. Like, I don't like getting in the middle of people's lives and whatever because I know people can get really aggressive towards that. He's, like, no, no, if I'm ever going to drink, please stop me. 
So that kind of weirded me out. I was like, all right. You know, a couple months go by. He's about to drink. I'm like, bro, don't do it. Remember, you told me to stop you. I'm stopping right now. He got so fucking mad. He got so pissed. And it was a big deal. And everybody was like, it was just not my thing. And, you know, it just shows like this guy doesn't know what he wants. And he got, started getting really aggressive with me and stuff. So I kind of like cut it off there. I was like, all right, uh, I don't trust this guy no more. And I don't want to deal with this. You know, it's too much, too much aggression for some reason. Kareem, you like, I'm sorry, but I'm just going to keep it 100. You are like one out of 100. Like they're like you. I, I really want. Like, I want you to be, on, like, you know, you need to be honest. Like, you know, there's not a lot of, like, the majority of the Muslim community is not accepting. That's just a fact of it. Like, you're a very special one person. Like, I literally never came across someone as accepting as you that's in the Muslim community. Like, mm-hmm. other than the LGBTQ Muslims, you know, that, like, that are rare, too, because of the community. Like, no. Like I'm, I'm, I have to disagree. Like I'm sorry. Like I just don't think, I think main, the main. Like I think it's the one time where I can say the, the majority of the community is against it. I'm not gonna argue with you there. What you're saying is is true. I mean, it's obvious. You know, I'm not gonna lie and hide it. And it, it, it's a problem, and I think it's something that, you know, as we advance as a people and a culture, uh, we need to be more accepting towards people because I believe, like you know, in, in our faith, it's like. You can't really judge. At the end of the day, you know, in in our faith, we believe that Allah is going to send you to hell based on what he feels, you know, you lived your life. No, no human can make that decision for you. I can't speak for what you go through, too, because I, 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 I know 100 percent that what you go through is not easy. You know, you were born this way and it's not something like, you know, that you would kind of like be like, I'm going to go this way because this is I, knowing how hard it is. You know, you were born that right. way and. I cannot speak for what you're going through. So I know what you mean. And I can't argue with that. Yeah, like I wish, I definitely wish more people in the community were like you um, or just borderline respectful. I mean, it's really not that hard, but the toxic, toxicness within your community is just overwhelming. And I really, I really, really don't like it. Um, But, you know, it it sucks because I'm, that's, type of men I'm attracted to and that's just something I have to figure out for myself but I um yeah like I definitely don't regret anything that I did and all right yeah so uh let's ask this when are you gonna come back to YouTube I mean a lot of the viewers miss you when are you gonna come back and and do your thing on YouTube um well basically I think I'm going to come back once I fully heal and fully get through my transition on this, honestly, because um, I've been going through a lot. You know, I have uh, six family members that I take care of and Mm -hmm. three on top of surgery. It gets to be a lot. Like I really don't do anything and I haven't for the, for the longest since the summer, since like my birthday, like, like or a little bit after that like i really haven't been doing much like anything that i post is not mm-hmm. new content so i just kind of been literally chilling and focusing on me so that's what i'm stuck doing right now um but new year started and hopefully you know things will change and get i'll get the ball rolling soon but um for now i'm just i mean people know what it is yeah i am I, I, I want to make a reaction video, but I kind of want this to be my reaction to what uh, yeah. Slim is me. So hopefully this, you know, gets across to many people. But um, yeah, I'm on a break for now and I don't know when I'll be returning. Okay, take your time. Hopefully when you do return, this year will be your year and um, you come back strong. I appreciate you coming through and speaking. I know it was hard. I can tell by your voice that this was not easy. And I appreciate you for talking and speaking out. Um, If there's... I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I said thank you. You're welcome. And if there's anything else you want to add or say, because I've gotten a lot of messages from, you know, the LGBTQ Muslim community. Um, I I don't want to post any of their posts because most of them are in the closet. And I was surprised 
like how many of them um, really wanted someone to speak for them and someone to kind of like, because this kind of opened up like a, a whole new thing that I didn't even know. Like, um, and it's really interesting to me. That's why when I read their stories and read their messages, it was like, wow, you tapped into a community that was, you know, kind of like just trying to speak, trying to come out, but they're afraid to. So do you have any words of encouragement, wisdom, even though with everything that you went through that you would like to say to anybody watching or following you or probably in the same in the same shoes as you? Um, yes, for sure. Um, I have a huge heart when it comes to that, obviously. Um, all, I, all I can really say is to be yourself no matter what, because people are going to talk regardless, whether you come out or you don't people are going to talk regardless it's going to be something brought up either way so like just be yourself when the time is right for safety purposes um and definitely just hold on to what makes you happy like don't ever let that spark go like this makes me happy what i the, what i put out there and who i am it makes me happy so Whoever enjoys it should enjoy it. Whoever doesn't like it should block me. We're in this day and age where it's easy to do that. So people should just do that. And, um, you know, I know it can be really hard for the LGBTQ Muslims, um, given the religion and the culture surrounding it. But I just, I have, you know, uh, pray for them. Just hope the best for them. I am. Um, yeah. Just yeah. Come out. Come out when you feel it's it's time. Yeah, I truly believe that God loves everybody, and based on what He believe, you know, we're, we're all human. He created us all. I mean, He created us this way. He created us with our faults, with our perfections, imperfections, and at the end of the day, if you are in that position of being LGBTQ or having those thoughts, I mean. It's between you and God. And if you feel close to God, you know, and it makes you happy, then that's it. I mean, at the end of the day, everybody that's enforcing most of these hateful things are just people, you know. Um, I yeah. really, I truly believe, like, if God really didn't want, I mean, he wanted he wanted us to be here and evolve and grow and, and gain knowledge. If he didn't, he would have simply just ended us but he hasn't so we're going through our world that we're going through our trials and tribulations our lives and it's a test okay so be nice to people i know a lot of the community can be a little aggressive sometimes especially when it comes to the trans community be nice this is one of the biggest tests you know they're human too so uh don't be a dick <laughs> All right, Agura, thank you so much again. And if there's anything else you want to, you know, send me um, text or, or any proof or anything like that we can use for your content, let me know. And finally, again, so everything that Slim was saying in the last podcast was untrue. He lied. Is that correct? Yeah, definitely. It was 100% a lie. Um, he had uh, lied about every little thing um, and just couldn't keep a straight story so mm -hmm. that is definitely just you know a cover-up for the allegations getting to how to handle the fans can't get enough of you and they want to ask you so many questions for the first question were you fully transitioned when you had sex with slim and adam no i was not um they knew about this right they knew that right was any of them freaky yeah who was freakier <laughs> both of them I fucked Adam and some fucked me. Oh, okay. For the three-way, how did you guys plan that out? Or just was it spontaneous? Yeah, it was just spontaneous. We were all together. It wasn't really anyone's idea. It was just, it happened because we were together. Was there any drugs or alcohol involved? Yeah, but I wasn't on it. I wasn't, I didn't do it. They did, like, high and drunk already. Oh. Um, I smelled it on them already. Yeah, they always say they don't drink, and it was apple juice. They drink apple juice or something like that. <laughs> okay, well, if you believe that, then you're delusional. No, no, no. I already know the truth. So what threats did you receive and from who? I received threats from both parties, but I received 
the letter from Edward, which is from Adam. So, Mm -hmm. yeah, their family, I think it was Slim's family. I don't know, man. I I don't remember, but it was a lot of shit. But I was getting threats from family and fans and it was too 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 many dms to um remember have you ever had a criminal record yes for like theft um when i was under 18 like, yeah i oh. i never no yeah my record is clean for the most part i just have stuff from like when i was it's under just, 18 like, um, basically yeah oh, that's nothing. Thing. slim made it seem like you were like he told me criminal. i yeah yeah i wish i knew how to crack credit card and do fraud like that i never been involved in that since you guys had like sex many times what are the, some of the freaky things that kind of surprised you well the threesome in and that surprised me i mean the fact that we were all together was really surprising mm-hmm. we i didn't it wasn't it didn't hit me until like after like it was i just all happened um just the fact that we we're all like having sex together and i've been following adam for so long it was just kind of like a dream come true almost it was like a fantasy type thing uh, again you're a hero to a lot of these viewers and many of them are looking up to you with your strength and how much you just honest truthful you're not like afraid or hiding from anything you're saying it how it is nothing wrong was done you're just saying the truth the whole thing about this is that these guys are very hypocritical it seems you know they're against this they speak very negatively about the trans community homosexuality and all these things yet you know they they dabble in it a little is there anything else you want to add before we go just get tested if you guys do have sex with them oh okay (laughs) all right if you're going to be intimate with these guys, you better get tested. Thank you so much, Agur. Have a good one. Be safe and uh, stay strong. Alrighty, Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye.